right, everyone. Welcome back to Atlanta, site of the Vikings' victory over the Atlanta Falcons, a big one. This is the Between the Lions postgame report brought to you by Gatorade. Mike Wobshaw, voice of the Vikings, Paul Allen. A grinder of a game, again for the Minnesota Vikings. Defense leading the way. Case Keenum, another great day. The Vikings win 14-9 and all as well. You can give me all the stats you want about defenses around the National Football League. The Minnesota Vikings have the best defense in the National Football League. The Atlanta Falcons had scored 32 points a game over the last three, 516 yards last game against Tampa, number one in the NFL on third down, converted one third down today. Matt Ryan for the first time in his last 31 games did not throw a touchdown pass. Atlanta had zero touchdowns, may not have been any sacks, they were all over the field, and this is the best defense in the NFL, complemented by a quarterback in Case Keenum, who threw for two touchdowns today, an excellent, excellent completion percentage. What a balanced team, what a win. This was um, an absolute grinder in the first half. I mean, all Atlanta could do was kick field goals. It ain't easy, man. Because they, they stopped, their drive stopped once yeah. they got near the goal line. Yeah. We forced them into field goals. We had one touchdown at halftime, yeah. really close game. I think in the second half, we started winning the time of possession battle. Latavius Murray kept going at them. Yeah. I think we kind of wore him down a no little doubt. bit at the end of the game. No doubt. It's not easy to win here. I mean, you know, I know Atlanta has a new offensive and defensive coordinator, but this is the team that went to the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 51. Yeah. You got a defensive tackle in Grady Jarrett who had a sack today. All he did was take down Captain Cool, Tom Brady, three times in the Super Bowl. Keanu Neal, incredibly good. I know they had injuries in their secondary, but this is also a Vikings team that lost its quarterback week one and potential rookie of the year running back in the Lions game at the House of Pain. So you play with who you have, and to come down here and get a grinded out victory like this while in the midst of a three-game road trip, this is so impressive. Now we do it again next week from Charlotte. Mike Zimmer wants tough teams, and his team this year is tough yeah. because this was a no tough doubt. game. Great take. The, the Washington Redskins win on the road in Washington, that was a tough win. Yeah. How about holding the Rams to zero points right. after an opening drive touchdown? That is a tough team. And I and I say the I say tough and the offense is tough too. I mean the yeah. offensive line is grinding away. Latavius Murray had almost hundred all purpose yards today. Yeah. And um, Kyle Rudolph came up big. He had um, you know he got into the end zone. Um, time of possession battle won by the Vikings once again. Now that's eight straight wins. Last time we won eight straight? 1998. Pretty good team that year. Yep. Uh, 10 and two overall. We have not clinched uh, the division or a playoff spot. But Last we are time 10 inching, and two, 2009. We are inching closer Both and closer. The road does not get easier. However, next week at Carolina, yeah. early thoughts. Well, um, the Vikings with Zimmer have bludgeoned Cam Newton and the, and the Carolina Panthers two times. Uh, this will be an interesting week, going against another physical team next week. But uh, I just can't stress enough with Matt Ryan as one of the very best quarterbacks in the NFL. Yeah. You know, Julio Jones and Xavier Rose, we heard that talk locally and nationally 8,000 times this week. Mohamed Sanu, Rutgers, really tough on third down. To come into Mercedes-Benz Stadium, and put Matt Ryan on a zero touchdown passing game, that's masterful. That is an absolute absolute masterpiece. Well done. Might be a team that goes to the playoffs, this Atlanta Falcons team. I mean, coming into this game, last three games, 32 points a game and 385 yards per game. 275 yards today, nine points. Great job by the hey, Minnesota Vikings And defense. Vikings fans, props to you. Skull chant late in the game. Thousands these, of Vikings fans. Look at fans right here. Look at hey, the Hey, what's up? These Vikings fans from yeah. all across the Great Divide came to root for their favorite team today, and guess what? They got paid. What What are the Vikings right now? Uh, the Vikings are 10 and 2. What are they in the North? Kings of the North, and every team in front of us needs to bend the knee. Victory high five. Victory high five, baby. Let's go. Good win. Let's go. Good win for your Vikings. Between the Lions postgame report brought to you by Gatorade is over. For more, stay tuned to Vikings.com. On behalf of Voice of the Vikings, Paul Allen, I'm Wabi signing off for now.